Hello everyone and thanks for tuning in. In this video I'm just going to quickly go over three things that I wish I knew before investing in my indoor cycling setup and getting started in riding on Zwift. Number one has to do with this smart trainer here. I am using the Kicker Snap Smart Bicycle Trainer but really this is more about wheel on bicycle trainers in general which are what the majority of bike trainers are. I wish I had known about this trainer tire when I got started because it for $30 is an awesome investment. It's going to quiet down the noise and it's also going to keep you from wearing out your regular bicycle tire. And number two would have been the choice to go with a smart trainer in the first place. Uh, for me, I tend to ride outdoors a lot as well as indoors. And what I've since switched to is having a crank arm power meter. That gives me versatility to where I can get power meter outside and inside. You know, if I, if I had the choice to do it again. Yep, the Wahoo Kicker Snap is a fantastic smart trainer. It gives you great power data, has ERG mode and all that. But for my particular use, it probably would have been smarter to save a little money by not going with the smart trainer and maybe getting a mid-tier dumb trainer and then investing that money back into a power meter. Now the way I have it set up now is that I'm using power data just from this crank arm, but I also connect while in Zwift to this as well. So I can still use the ERG mode, which is very, very useful for training because it's gonna hold those certain power levels, no matter how fast or slow you're pedaling. But if you're at the point where you're thinking about getting a trainer and getting into Zwift, uh, something to think about is how are you going to use your bicycle. If you're going to use it outside a lot as well as inside, you may consider getting the power meter that's standalone and not part of the trainer. And number three, and the thing I'm probably most excited about because I just discovered this a few days ago, is a cycling desk or what I'm calling an indoor cycling desk. Um, and there's mine. I just built this thing out of this bicycle repair stand. And this is the part that normally clamps the seat tube of your bicycle for you to do some repairs on it. And so rather than spending the couple hundred dollars on the ones that they sell ready made that sit on the ground, I just improvised one using the bicycle repair stand on some scrap wood. Let me show you the bottom of this guy. So the way this is constructed, is you got this, I think it's about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch metal pipe. I cut off about two feet long. That gets clamped by the jaws of the repair stands. Then I went ahead, I through bolted three quarter 20 by two and a half inch long bolts into a couple pieces of pine, which I trimmed. These are three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch by, it's probably about 19 inches long, right? Drill through all three of them, sandwich those together. And I just use some construction adhesive to glue on this top piece of just spare plywood I had laying around. And what's awesome about this guy is not only was it super inexpensive using things I already had, but check out this. Just loosen that up and you can swing the desk, position it as high as you want, as low as you want, and whatever angle you want it at. Super useful. Wish I had thought of that nine months ago. Anyway, if you have any comments or suggestions for things that you've learned, please drop a comment below and be sure to subscribe for more videos.